The next match is Raw's Nine Man Battle Royal for the returning IC title, last seen being absorbed by Triple H in a title versus title match at No Mercy 2002, along with the remains of Kane's momentum following the Katie Vick saga. The return of the 23 year old championship was one of Stone Cold's first decisions as the new co GM of Raw, bringing things full circle from the time he threw the Intercontinental title into the river on Raw's War. Also making the return in this match was Val Venus, having recently been fired from the post he held for six months as Sean Morley, Eric Bischoff's chief of staff. All the entrants in this match are a former Intercontinental Champion, except for Booker T, who was added by Stone Cold after Theodore Long suggested adding a person of color to the match. Write your angry letters about affirmative action now, Pickup Truck Twitter. Kane starts the match off by being a bad friend who wipes out his own World Tag Team title partner Rob Van Dam, but then suffers the 7 on 1 onslaught usually reserved for incognito tabs at 2am. He does manage to roar his way out of it long enough to eliminate Calgary, Alberta Canada's Lance Storm, who was apparently holding everyone else back as Kane is clipped in the knee by RVD's revenge and dumped out seconds later by the rest of the field. The Big Red Crybaby gets back into the ring though and lays waste to everyone, including a receipt for his own partner. Tess is then quickly thrown out for his second L of the night, followed by Venus's premature exit and then RVD's too, in an elimination to piss off the fans even more than Van Damme being pinned in the Extreme Elimination Chamber. <laughs> That's my purse! I don't know you! <laughs> After getting his former tag title partner to give us a spin rooney Goldust kills the illusion of friendship being possible in this dark dystopian world by trying to eliminate his best friend, only to have it turned around on him. Luckily though, all is forgiven. The theme of every man for himself continues as Jericho gets launched out of the ring by his former tag title partner Christian during a lion salt attempt, and so begins one of the most convoluted finishes in history. Christian accidentally dropkicks Chad Patton, who for convenient plot purposes is the only referee overseeing this battle royal. Booker eliminates Christian to cause his music to play, but not the bell. Pat Patterson, the inaugural IC champion here to award the winner the gold, gets dropped by Christian at ringside who then takes the belt, hits Booker in the face with it, and dumps him out in front of a resuscitated Chad Patton to officially win the match and instantly kill the credibility of this championship. Christian getting a makeover the next day makes sense, as I don't want to cleanse myself of that finish ASAP too. Hey. You there, in the red shirt. I hope you enjoyed this clip from Russell Reward. If you want to see the full episode this came from, click the box in the middle. And if you haven't already, subscribe to see all the content from this channel.